Hey everybody, this is Jeff Flowers from Kegerator.com. Here today to show you how to turn a Smeg refrigerator into a custom draft beer dispenser. It's pretty easy to do, so let's uh, walk you through the steps. We decided to use a new but still retro Smeg refrigerator for our project. If you use a different refrigerator, keep in mind that some measurements may need to be altered. The most notable will be the necessary length of the PVC sleeve and the faucet shank. First, you'll need to gather all of the necessary components. You will need a PVC spacer approximately 6 inches long, one faucet shank that's at least 6 and 1 8 inches long, one faucet and handle, one beer tube, one air line, one regulator, one coupler, and one door mount drip tray. You'll also need a few tools to complete the conversion. Be sure you have the following within reach. A power drill with a quarter inch drill bit and one and one eighth hole saw, not pictured. A wrench, a screwdriver, a spanner wrench, measuring tape, saw if you need to cut down the PVC spacer. Now that you've got everything ready, let's begin. First, you will need to decide where you want to put the beer faucet on the front of the fridge. We decided to put the faucet on the right side of the unit to leave enough room for the drip tray. Mark that area completely with tape. X marks the spot. Next, take the power drill, connect the 1 and 1 8 hole saw, and drill into the refrigerator. If the hole saw doesn't reach all the way through, you will want to drill from the inside as well. Next, insert the PVC sleeve and then insert the faucet shank inside that sleeve. Remember that some faucet shanks have a tailpiece already connected, while others require you to assemble a separate one. Be sure to use a tailpiece that your beer line will fit onto snugly. We use a tailpiece that will fit our three 16th inch ID hose. Next, assemble your faucet and faucet handle. Remember that faucets don't follow the righty-tighty, lefty-loosey logic. You'll want to turn it to the left to tighten. A spanner wrench comes in handy when tightening the faucet, so if you're having trouble, grab one of those. Then, attach the beer line from the faucet shank to the coupler. Don't forget to place a washer on the coupler connection before you put the components together. This will prevent any leaks. You'll then want to connect the air line to the coupler as well. Be sure to clamp this connection with the hose clamp. The last thing you want leaking is your CO2. Connect the other end of the air line to the regulator, and again, be sure to clamp this connection, but also be sure the regulator is in the off position. Finally, connect the regulator to the CO2 tank and regulate your compression. Now, you're ready to tap your first keg. But before you do, a completely optional but strongly suggested final step is to add a door mounted drip tray. This will catch any foam or spilled beer and finalizes the complete kegerator look. To do this, measure your preferred drinking glass. We used a pint glass. And then add a few more inches and measure the distance down from the faucet. Then, using a level, place the drip tray where you want it and mark where the screws should be located. Then move the drip tray out of the way and drill the screws into the fridge, but not all the way. Leave about a quarter inch or less between the screw head and the fridge. Then place the drip tray onto the screws. You can then tighten if you wish, or leave it loose so removal for cleaning purposes is quick and easy. That's it! Now you're ready to serve cold beer from your one-of-a-kind retro kegerator.